Hello and welcome everybody. This is Spiritual Findings with the Gypsy Soul. I am your Gypsy, Fearlin, and today we're going to be doing a general reading for my Pisces for March 2019. Now when I say general reading, guys, this is going to cover your love, your career, your soul story, what's going on for March. Happy birthday to some of you guys, too. Now I will be pulling from the Rider Waite deck here. I usually do three cards, but if more cards pop out, that is fine. I'll just go with the flow, whatever I feel is necessary. After I'm done the Rider Waite, Rider Waite reading, I do have some important news for you guys, so hopefully you guys stay tuned to listen to what's going on with spiritual findings. After I'm done that, I will be pulling one from the fairies or one from the angels. We'll see where my intuition goes just for a little bit more insight for the month of March. Okay, guys? Now, I'm going to go over the planets and the moons real quickly. You guys have a lot of energy changes regarding your sign. If you have any questions about what I'm going to go over, feel free to comment below. I'll give you a little bit of description or do your own research too. But I like to, guy, I like to keep you guys updated on the energy changes for this month. All right, on the 1st, we have Venus is entering Aquarius. On the 5th, Mercury is turning retrograde in your sign. There's a lot of stuff going on for the month of March for your sign. On the 6th, we have a new moon in your sign, Pisces, and Uranus is entering Taurus. Now, Uranus is a slow-moving planet, so the fact that now it is moving to Taurus is something big, okay, guys? It only happens you know, it's Uranus is known for it to be a generational planet because it is so slow moving. On the 20th, we have a full moon in Libra. On the 26th, we have Venus is leaving Aquarius and entering your sign. On the 28th, we have the end of the retrograde, the dreaded retrograde, and it is going direct, okay? Now, for the retrogrades, I like to point out that um, don't take it negatively. I know a lot of things can be shaken up for you and for other signs and just for things in general, whether it's your love life or your career, but take this time to really meditate, you know, take some, take, take, take a little bit of break, okay? Take a rest. Make sure that the things that you are doing are appropriate and is each step forward to your calling. Okay, guys? So retrogrades in my mind are kind of just like a mental break. All right? Kind of clear your mind. And then after the retrograde, which is on the 28th, maybe give yourself a day or a week for those energy energies to settle. Then make your bigger decisions, okay? Whether it's regarding your business, a new career path, educational, you know, leasing a new apartment, buying a house, buying, buying a big appliance, whatever it is. Just wait until after the retrograde, okay, guys? And we're ending out the month, March 31st, with Mars is entering Gemini. All right, guys, I know that was a mouthful, right? Like I said, if you have any questions, comment below. If you'd like to find out your moon sign, comment below with your full birthday, day, month, and year, and I'll find out your moon sign. Very interesting, okay? So I know I, I have some, um, my son is a Pisces and a Cancer Moon, and that makes his personality completely unique compared to other Pisces. So find out yours, okay? If you would like to book a private reading with me, you can comment below. You can email me. My email is in the description box. You can comment me on Facebook, whatever it is, however you feel like you want to get in contact with me. I do have readings as low as $6 right now, guys, so take advantage of that. All right. Seems we have some unity going on. Perhaps this is a celebration that you just had in February or an upcoming celebration you have in March regarding your birthday. Getting together with friends, having some drinks, just whatever it is, just kind of celebrating, get to, getting together with your siblings, okay? Ooh, we got some good stuff going on here. So we have the Three of Cups followed by... Ooh, the lovers followed by the king of cups so the three of cups if it isn't really resembling a birthday party or a small get together or whatever it might be it might be finding people perhaps a significant other if you're dating or whatever it might be that are similar in mindsets okay have similar interests inspirations okay 
You can do so by following groups online, getting out there, you know, going to places that are crafty, going to concerts, just getting out there and being social. I hate always saying the bar scene because I really don't feel like that is always a great place to socialize, but just finding people that are similar minded. This could be a spiritual, you know, holistic center. You know, it's something simple that you really are passionate about. And that is how we find friends and lovers or, you know, reconnecting with family. Okay is on a passionate level, something that somebody, you know, you don't really want to surround yourself with people that are negative and don't have similar, similar beliefs because it'll kind of be a put down to you. Okay. So make sure you go out there, have some fun, whether it's a birthday, if it's your birthday, cheers. <laughs> As you can see that they're, they literally like are all dancing around cheersing. Okay. All right. We are followed by the lover's card. Now for me, with this being, <clears throat> I don't always see this as like the love card, I'll say, but it also to me, if it's not quite about love, it is finding a balance within yourself. With the fact that it follows the three of cup cards, I really do feel like it's finding friends or dating people with similar interests like say perhaps you like to paint so, you know look up local painting clubs if you like to rock climb go to the rock climbing gym if you like to bowl pick up bowling again you know you'd be surprised the people that you can meet if you like bible study and you haven't gone in a while, go, okay? There might be some new people in your church or whatever it might be, your holistic center, okay? Just get out there, be social, and make sure that it's with your passions, okay? That's why I say going to the bar, it's a little too vague. There's too many people out there. You don't know what they're there for or really what they like. But you know, if you like rock climbing and you go to the rock climbing gym, you know they like rock climbing, okay? It's simple enough, okay? I'm not saying all y'all are pro athletes out there, but you get what I'm trying to say, okay? The fact that this lover's card is followed by the three of cups really shows me that you're finding people in your life with similar interests. Simple as that, okay? Now, if you are single and you're trying to find somebody, the lover's cards does, the lover's card does represent Geminis, okay? Perhaps there's a Gemini in your life that will come into your life. This could also be, you know, if you have a friend or, you know, somebody in your family, a cousin, sibling, you know, your mother, whatever, daughter, it doesn't matter. That is a Gemini. Just maybe you need to bounce your ideas off of them. If you're having some troubles in life right now, if you're stuck in depression, whatever it might be, it's always have it's always good to have somebody to talk to okay and um, Gemini is an air sign so they can be really good at communicating okay figuring out you know what what's going on kind of getting over that hump in life we all need somebody to talk to right all right so we have the king of cups and the king of cups to me is showing that you kind of need to balance out your emotions a little bit maybe separate your business from you know personal life perhaps you just maybe you're not quite over an ex okay or a past trauma maybe some of you guys who have recently just lost a close loved one okay the king of cups cups resemble emotions okay and with it being a king you need to kind of take control of your emotions again and I know that might be hard and you know if you're if you're in a dark place in your life Pisces it can feel impossible okay that to-do list might keep growing every day your worries might keep growing every day but if you just don't take that step and take control you might not you're not gonna get everything done in a day in a week in a month but if you take those steps forward that positive energy will flow your way but if you're stuck in a negative mindset things will never get better you know I'm never gonna catch up on my bills you know I'm still in love with that ex you know I'm strung up on them whatever it might be you just got to take steps forward and you'll see things will become more clear okay 
You need to rule like a king when it comes to your emotions, Pisces, okay? Be firm, okay? Take control, rule it, okay? Don't let your emotions rule you, okay? Very important, guys. All right, that sums up our reading from the Rider Waite deck, and here is the news. Spiritual findings with a gypsy soul is getting a sister channel. All right, I'm excited about this, guys. You can find the link, you can find the link in the description box below. It'll be called Spiritual Studies. Now, it isn't quite you know, up and running yet. It is established. It has two little clips on it, but on this channel, I will be doing a few different types of tarot readings, okay? I will be teaching people how to read tarot, what kind of decks would be good for beginners, going over in detail and showing you all the different types of decks that I have, because this is just the beginning of my large collection here. And also, more importantly, on this channel, I'll be going over natural ways of healing, okay? Educational purposes. That's why it's called spiritual studies. I'll be doing clips like how to use the Tibetan sound bowls here, okay, and the benefits of that. Different types of tea and why are they are good for you and what symptoms they are good for. I'll also be interviewing different people, okay? Why becoming spiritual have changed their lives and what do they practice, okay? Because we all might be spiritual, but it is a very vague category, okay? You know, I know some people are spiritual Christians, some people are practice Wicca, witchcraft, I have my shamans out there, you know, it's very vague. So I just want to go over, you know, interview different people, what they practice, what they do. You know, I'll be doing short clips on why it's important to unplug your Wi-Fi at night to get the best amount of sleep, okay? So it'll be a very large category here on spiritual studies. I will be a lot more personal. You will see my face during it. So it just will be a little bit different, but I am calling it the sister channel to spiritual findings with a gypsy soul because I will be doing some similar things. This channel is just strictly getting down the business with tarot. I will be bringing tarot to the other channel, but I'll also be covering a lot more spiritual things and spiritual studies, okay? All right, guys, I know a lot of people are excited about um, going over on how to read tarot too. I know a lot of people want to pick up a deck for themselves, but they're just kind of intimidated, really intimidated on what to do. You know what? I'm feeling, I'm feeling the angels. I grabbed the fairies, but as I started shuffling, just wasn't, wasn't cutting it. That's another thing I'll be covering in the channel too. Going with your gut. What feels right. All right, my Pisces. Let's get a good card for my Pisces. Some insight, some inspiration, some direction. What could my Pisces use for March 2019? You guys are a water element. Your ruler is Neptune. You are the 12th house. You guys are my rulers, my healers. Kind of go with the flow with some things, but you, you lend that hand when it's needed. All right, we have balance. So that goes straight with the King of Cups. Balance, the, the, the need for balance and moderation, cooperation, compromise, wait for perfect timing. That could also play within the, the Mercury retrograde things that does shake things up, not just for you, for everybody. So maybe you just wanna Take the time during the retrograde to think about things, think about what you need to change in your life, okay? Make sure, maybe bounce your ideas off of it. Like I said, if you have that Gemini or just somebody really close to you that you like to talk to, you know, give them a call and be like, hey, I've been thinking about this or, you know, this career change, I've been wanting to study this or, <clears throat> you know, my current relationship's just not cutting it, not sure how to go about it. Wait for the perfect timing. Make sure you have your ducks in a row before you make any really major decisions. Okay, Pisces, it's very important that you do so. All right, so the need for balance and moderation, which, hello, it's 
I'm thinking it's definitely emotional, all right? Definitely some emotional balance, which career and love life can really set off the emotions, okay? You don't need any more of that stress in your life, Pisces. Move on, all right? So the need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise, wait for the perfect timing, okay? Couldn't have said it better myself. All right, guys, I will be zooming in up on the cards here just so you can have a better view before I, you know, set things off. But that sums it up. Thanks for tuning in. This is Spiritual Findings with the Gypsy Soul. I am your gypsy, Vera Lynn. You guys have a beautiful March and happy birthday to some of you guys. Take care.